name is Eric Wolf, and I'm the founder of Airwolf 3D and the lead designer of the Axiom, which I'm going to be talking to you today about. Uh, the idea today is to show you quickly how to get started 3D printing with this machine. So one of the beauties with the Axiom is that you can run over 40 different materials through the same print head in this machine. Now we've got a really good challenge here because right now we have polycarbonate, which many of you know is absolutely the highest temp, hardest, strongest material that you can run in any desktop 3D printer. And we run polycarbonate extensively every day in our shop because we make a lot of these printer parts out of polycarbonate, just like this bearing right here. So now we're faced with that question. How do we get a different material in there? Like, let's say we want to extrude a really soft material, kind of on the opposite end of the 3D printing spectrum for polycarbonate. Take, for example, TPE. So we've got some TPE right here, some NinjaFlex. Now, we want to extrude this. Well, if you know much about 3D printing, you know you just can't put it in the machine and press print, especially if there's like a really hard material in there. So the first thing that you should do is put this material through the hot end and push the polycarbonate out. Now, some say it's easier said than done. We have developed the auto feed system in the Axiom so that it will do that easily for you. The first thing we'll do is we want to make sure we're up to polycarbonate temperatures because if we have polycarbonate in the hot end, we need it to be very hot so the filament will release from the hot end. Here, we're at 290 degrees, which is plenty for polycarbonate. We'll na navigate down and prepare, remove filament. Now the polycarbonate is going to be extracted from our hot end and we're going to get ready to put our Ninja Flex in. So give us a couple seconds for all that filament to come back out of the hot end. Now, one of the myths of soft materials is that they only work in what's called a direct drive system. A direct drive system is a system where you'll have a stepper motor situated right above the hot end. Uh, we have found that the Bowden system, where you have the stepper motor removed from the hot end, is actually a much more reliable design. All of our machines for the last couple of years have used this Bowden design. And one of the myths with that design is that you can extrude soft materials in there because the soft materials will somehow bend or bind before they get to the end of the hot end. Well, that is simply entirely untrue. We print all the time, every day, with materials like thermoplastic polyurethane and thermoplastic elastomer like the NinjaFlex and get beautiful quality, soft plastic rubber-like prints. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is right now. So I'm gonna remove our very hard, high temperature polycarbonate from the hot end right now. And let's go ahead and put that NinjaFlex in there. Now with the Ninja Flex, we usually print at about 245 or so degrees Celsius. But because that high temperature polycarbonate is still in there, we're gonna leave the hot end at a very high temperature. We wanna get that material out. We want, don't want any stuck in there, especially with a soft material coming through. So when we're getting ready to load our TPE, let's first do something to make our life a lot easier. If you look at the end of the TPE, Let's cut a really fine point in there. That will make loading the filament much easier. So we'll go down to prepare and load filament, okay? About five seconds later, the extruder will start. And it'll start taking the filament magically in. I'd like to thank Tyler Caros from Airwolf for helping us out with a tip. Tyler prints with TPU, TPE, and all sorts of exotic materials every day. So if you have any questions about those filaments, feel free to give Tyler a shout out. Now right now, the filament is loading into the hot end. We can feel it coming in, pulling the roll, and it'll come out in just a couple seconds here and displace the polycarbonate. Now remember that we have the temperature of the hot end set to 290C, which is far too hot to print TPE at, but it's a great temperature to push 
all the existing polycarbonate through the hot end to clear that material from it. Now what you'll notice with TPE is that it's flexible and it's flexible in a lot of different directions. So to really get that material through the hot end, you may need to prime the hot end several times. And that's why we designed the Aero Fells LCD with this type of interface. So you go to prepare and hit prime a number of times and you'll see the filament feeding into there. Now, we keep an eye to make sure the film is still feeding by monitoring it from behind the machine and the roll is still moving around, so that means the filament is still coming through. We can also see from the top, it's a clear material, but we can see it coming. So let's do this a couple more times. Now, as we're priming the filament, the pressure is building in the hot end because of this soft material kind of wants to flex on itself and bunch up. As soon as it's achieved a high enough pressure, it will actually push the polycarbonate out. What we're doing right here is actually one of the most difficult things that you can do with a desktop 3D printer. You can ask most people in this world that we live in is pushing polycarbonate through a hot end with the softest material you can get your hands on. And so you can see right now the polycarbonate's getting pushed out and you'll see the TPU coming right outside the hot end. Now we'll give it a few more primes just to double, triple, quadruple check that all that hard polycarbonate material is out of that hot end. And you can see, you'll see some black and clear and black and clear. And I really recommend doing this several times to ensure that you get those materials through. As a matter of fact, when you extrude filament, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting, but like if we were gonna extrude ABS onto a roll or polycarbonate onto a roll, frequently you actually have to change this extruder screw to use different materials. And it's kind of a miracle when you think about it that we've got one single hot end that doesn't need any changes that can print in over 40 different materials. So it's really, we have a lot of fun here experimenting with all sorts of different materials. So now your TPU is ready to print. You simply select a part, press print, and you are absolutely ready to go.